And that brings me on to my next topic, which happened at a school <coughs> yesterday in Walsall or Winsbury. Many of you, I'm sure, have seen the videos which have been going around. With a school, they bought a gay Muslim to speak to the Muslim children. And this gay Muslim said things like, it's all right to be gay in Islam. And there is no verses in the Quran which prohibit this. So he says, I read the Bible and I read the Quran. So he, he's come out with a statement which the children have challenged. And rightly so. So if you look later on, they, the, the, one of the teachers gets very upset and he says, shut up. I've heard enough now. We live in a tolerant country and a diverse country. Exactly. We live in a tolerant, diverse country. And therefore, if you bring a person with opinion, which no Muslim, no scholar worth his weight in salt has said in 1400 years, then we have the right to defend our opinion. That's what diversity is. Diversity is not you shove your hegemony down people's throats. I want to ask all these schools who speak about diversity. How often have you had the other opinion coming to your schools? So if you come with an opinion which contravenes 1400 years of Islamic scholarship, then diversity is this, that we have the right to challenge it. That is diversity. And then he comes, next statement. He said, Muslims, 21 years ago, Muslims smashed their planes into buildings. And there were people who stood up for those Muslims. Let me remind you, there were 19 Muslims who smashed the planes into buildings and there's two billion of us. Those 19 don't represent our beliefs like that guy that you had in your school doesn't represent our beliefs. Two billion. And some of you stood up, yeah, you, you stood up. But for the, since 2001, look at the state of the Muslim world. We have to apologize when anything ever happens. We apologize. We will apologize so much, so much that our lips have started hurting. Anything happens anywhere. And you've beaten us down, your politicians, your media. And then you come and then you batter us with this Islamophobic trope. That somehow you've done us a great, a great justice. It's 19 people who flew their planes into those buildings. There's two billion of us. Since when have you apologized for your Iraq war? Which resulted in ISIS. Majority of people who died consequence of ISIS were Muslims. Since when have you apologized for Afghanistan? Since when have you apologized for any of your atrocities? So if you do bring an opinion which contravenes our basic Islamic rights, then we have the right to challenge it. That is diversity. But here diversity seems like you, the state, want to play the parent. You teach our children what you want. Even if it goes against our culture, against our ethics, against our moral, against our religion. You give children at school puberty blockers without the consent of the parents and now you want to play God. You want to tell us what's in our religion about things. Somebody who picks up the Quran and he's already got a disposition and then he forces that disposition on the Quran and then you bring it to a school and everybody must be stop. Everybody must be quiet because the saviors have come to enlighten us. So if you really believe in diversity, like you say in it, you believe in a tolerant society, and the girl does make it quite clear. She said, if you want to practice it, it's fine. We have no problem. Somebody want to practice it, fine, practice it. That's your right. But don't tell us that this is your religion, and then we have to remain quiet, otherwise we are defined as homophobic. I don't see that as diversity. I, feel that I see that as dictatorship and fascism.